titad titad leave the door open again oh Mom? Mom? Dad? Is this not the door I just closed? No one! I'm asking you, is this love? I'm feeling pain in this love I'm seeing you feeling loved I, I'm feeling strange in this cause I'm going insane in this love Losing myself in this cause Ah, uh, this Tell me about that How was it nice? Hmm. One night was Awesome mm -hmm. After your enchanting case last night <laughs> It was better Ah, uh, okay I know you're not used to Flattering your husband So be honest with me Are you sure? Now, if I don't flatter you, who will? Ah, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. Ah, Come. Yes. Okay. Let's <laughs> now, you better go get your own husband. Hello, my little angel. How was the night? So spring. Are you sure? <laughs> okay. Now that you're here, I know you are hungry. So tell me what you want for breakfast. Hmm. Anything you prepare for me, Spy. All right, Her Excellency. And stop pulling your hair, it's breaking. <laughs> come here, come here, come here. Look at you. Your nose is growing longer than Pinocchio's. <laughs> What's the plan? Huh? <laughs> so talk to me. How was school yesterday? Just fine. Are you sure? Are you still having problems in mathematics? Mm. Not oh. anymore, eh? You know, the previous term, you scored 7 over 10. Well, this time around, I want you to have 10 over 10. Okay. Okay? If you do that, I'll take you to Disneyland. Okay. Deal? Deal. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> at 9. The doctors at St. Luke's Hospital are being awarded tomorrow at 9 at the Governor's Hall opposite the Legislative Quarters, Nigeria. Our awardees will be coming in from different cities within Nigeria. Mom! Mom! Dad! Hmm? Did you hear that? Yes, I did. Mom! Hey! Sweethearts! Now what can I do for you? Why are you screaming? <laughs> Here are the list of the people choosing for this year's award. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> tomorrow is your day. 
Ah, tomorrow is our day. <laughs> and I can't thank God enough for the success. Hmm? You know, honey, I'm so, so proud of you. I couldn't have asked God for a better wife than you. Oh, baby. Oh, you know now, you're the best. <laughs> you're more than the word best. I'm here. Oops. Oh yes, I know you are. Listen, oh, just you, shut up. you don't have to be jealous of your parents. <laughs> you have 20 years before this gets to happen. So take a chill pill and continue writing. <laughs> Not to go. Calling me and not even allowing me to take my shower. Oh. Oh. Yeah, James. Mm -hmm. I called you earlier, but it looks like your phone wasn't on you. Yeah. Uh -huh. I was calling in respect of our conversation. Uh huh. Oh yes, very simple. You see, I need you to make reservations. Specifically, a suit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want somewhere that is very well secured. Yeah, it's a very safe environment. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, once you do, let me know. Hmm? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I'm almost done. How are you, sweetheart? Okay. Now, baby, I think it's time to bring Mario back from school. Please, help me do that, sweetheart. Oh. You know, I wish there was time for me to wait for your lovely kiss, at least for blessings. <laughs> Sweetheart, I, I wish you'd be in the hall. At least seeing you alone will, you know, make me happier. But then, no problem. Let me run along now. I can't wait to see you. Bye. Bye, sweetheart. Oh, gosh, I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Oh, gosh, let me not fall down. <sighs> I'm so sorry I'm late. Huh? How was school today? It was fine. Dad, has mom left for the hour? Oh yeah, she has gone. So you see, right now we need to hurriedly get home, pack our clothes so we'll be able to meet her at the venue, okay? Okay, All Dad, right. I can't oh. wait to see mom receiving the award. Like... Oh yes, same thing with me too. You know, your mom is a very hardworking woman and I know you'll be like her someday. So jump in.
Wow, you're looking great. I'm wearing you. women similar colors. Like father, hmm. like daughter. Hmm. <laughs> Dad, hmm? should I help you? No, I have everything figured out. Do you have your stuff? Yeah. Change of clothes? <laughs> Are you all right? I'm feeling a little thirsty. Thirsty? No, it's okay, you can hurry up. Drink some water, I'm here. But remember, don't waste time, we'll be out in a jiffy. Hmm? Okay. 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 Dad? Did Dad leave the door open again? I just closed. No one. Angel, where are you? Angel, are you okay? Angel, Angel. Yes, yes. Congratulations, Ma. Thank you very much. Uh, Ma, based on the award that was given to you yes, today, uh, what do you have to say to the viewer that day? Oh, 
Well, uh, what more can I say other than thank you, God, who made it possible for this to be a success. And also, I want to use this opportunity to thank His Excellency, who made it possible also for me to win this award. And also to say thank you to my fellow medical practitioners who saw me worthy of this. That's all. Um, congratulations once more. Yes. I can see you're overwhelmed with joy. What would you have to say to fellow medical practitioners like us and to the entire public? Well, uh, I'm happy. All I have to say to them is let them keep pressing mm -hmm. hard forward. You know, they can also receive this kind of award yeah. someday. Yeah. But so today is my day. So that's it. <laughs> Thank I'm you. so happy for you, ma. Thank you very much. Big congratulations. congratulations. Okay. Yeah. Please, please, one more, ma. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. ma please, I want to know, um, we believe your family members are supposed to be here, uh, but we're not seeing any. So what do you have to say to them? Well, about my family, I know that are on their way coming my husband and my daughter okay. they will still be here even though they couldn't meet up you okay. know with the ceremony there but then i'm still expecting them oh, yeah. oh, 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 please please ma what ma Listen. Listen. If I untie you, do not say a word. Your mom and your dad are not here. Do you get it? Hmm? Shut up! And I told you not to say a word. Else I will tie back your mouth. Let me go, please. Let me go. Let me go. I can see you are very stubborn. Now tell me. Do you need anything? I need water. 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 Don't take. Mm -mm. Take me so I can drink the water. Mm. You don't want to take from me? Alright. I don't want to, I can see you're very stubborn, eh? Give me your hands. Give me your hands. Leave me alone! Leave me alone!
what is all this? Why is my husband not picking his cords? He couldn't even make it to the event. Oh, maybe I should go over to the house. Now, what's going on? Why? Uh, Dr. Catherine Wilson, right? And how did you know my name? Come on, Dr. Captain Wilson Joe. I was at the award ceremony some minutes ago. You know, that was a beautiful speech you gave back there. And I'm pretty certain that your husband will be very proud of you. Thank you very much. And uh, <laughs> nice meeting you. Pleasure. Are you okay, Mrs. Catherine Wilson Joe? You look worried. Yeah, I've been trying to call my husband and. Oh, uh, Mr. Wilson Joe, right? <laughs> Now, wait a minute. How did you know my husband? Oh, uh, Mr. Wilson, you invited me. Uh, I've been trying to reach his line since I got here, but it's not been connecting. Um, oh, really? Yeah, but I'm still trying to call him. Okay, that's nice. Yes, sir. Oof. Oof. Where is my daughter? And who are you? Hey, give me back my phone. She's fine. She's right here with me. She's actually about going. Let me speak with my All husband. right, hold on, sir. <laughs> Hello, honey. Hello. Now, who is this? Thank you. Who are you, please? to the instructions. No involvement of the police, no making of any unnecessary calls. And if you fail and you go against my orders, your husband and your daughter will be dead. Oh, no, 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 no. Now open the door. Open the door. You've got to relax now, Doctor. Would you just be calm? <laughs> yes. Yes. Now open the door. <laughs> After you. Don't forget your beautiful award plaque. Yeah. After you. Sit. Dr. Catherine, would you please sit? Relax, all right? Sit down. Sit. That's all right. Whew. So, for your necessary information, I've got no gun, no weapon of any sort or anything that could harm you. But mind you, if anything happens to me, your daughter and your husband are dead. No. No. No, please. I beg of you, let nothing happen to my husband and my daughter. Please. Can I? 
Can I at least speak with my daughter? Please. Even if it's just for one minute, I beg you just one minute, please. Please. Please bring my daughter to me. You cannot get what you want. You don't understand. My daughter has a medical condition. If she finds herself in a dusty environment, a heated environment, or a place that has a lot of smoke, she stands the risk of losing her life if she doesn't have her drugs on her. So please, Help me take her medication to whatever she is. Please. There's something I need you to know. My daughter is not all that healthy. She's asthmatic. And her asthma is it's very high and bad that she cannot even stay a day without her inhaler. I beg you, please. Do not hold her. Please, save my daughter's life. I'm begging you. Mm-hmm. 
I am aware of that. He just told me his daughter is asthmatic. Why didn't you do your findings appropriately before we embarked on this attack? Well, I can see you don't want to eat your food. Listen. Stop proving stubborn. Else you would die of hunger. I'm just being nice. You sent someone over? Okay, okay. Yeah, good evening, sir. F3 that sent this over. It seems you're safe now. Make sure you eat your food. All right? I am a nice person, okay? I am very nice. I sent you some money. Please, I need to know that my daughter is okay. Have you received the package? Good. It's for the little girl. Keep it close to her. She might need it. Also, Pass the phone to her. Your daughter. Hello, my little angel. How are you? I miss you, Mom. Have you received your medication yet? Yes, I've got to my inhaler. For that. Please come and rescue me from this wicked man. That is. Please help me. And I told you I'm a nice guy. I'm a very nice guy. You're not nice, you're wicked. <laughs> I'm wicked. Now, why are you doing this? Why? Why can't you say what you want so you can leave my husband and my daughter alone? Hey, hey, woman, stop, stop. 
I'm asking you why? Why? You don't look evil, but why are you being mean? I'm asking you, what have we done to you that you inflicted so much pain on us? Pain? <laughs> Did you say pain? You speak of pain? You speak of pain. <laughs> you don't have any right to talk about pain. You don't know what pain is. You don't know what that word pain means because you are yet to receive the pain that I am going to give you, your husband and your child. Why? I don't understand any of this. Who are you? And why are you holding me, my wife and my daughter Hostage, who really are you? You know, Mr. Wilson, sometimes no words are good enough. I am currently not in the right frame of mind to answer your questions. I ask again, why are you holding us Hostage. If you don't keep quiet, your wife and your daughter will pay for your foolishness. I know what pain is. I am a medical doctor. I witness pain every day of my life. Just say what you want. Please. I need 10 million there. 10 million what? Yes, and I want it transferred into my account before daybreak. Or your husband and your daughter die. Please. <laughs> and your mother asked you to eat your food. No, I will not eat until I see my mom and dad. Where have we kept them? Bring them to me! <laughs> you know I would have tied your mouth and your legs if not the instruction given to me. <laughs> Please, I want to see my mom and dad. Bring them to me! Little one, mind you, any action you take here is going to affect your parents wherever they are. Why not behave yourself and be that good girl you used to be? I know you're a good girl. <laughs> And you wouldn't want to disrespect your parents. I'm a nice guy. A very nice guy. Remember? Now it's... <laughs> you know, this beats my imagination. Why are you not considering another woman's child when you're a woman too? Now put yourself in my wife's shoes. How will you be feeling now? You know nothing. You don't know a thing 
about saving a life. What exactly are you talking about? I don't understand at all. I don't. You haven't walked in my shoes. So you don't know the pain. <sighs> I get it. Virtually every kidnap or abduction usually ends up with a ransom. So mention your price. Whatever it is, I'll pay. But please, just leave my daughter out of this. You think this is about money? It's not about money. Your family members are not held hostage because of money. No. Mm. I will transfer the money to your account. But please, I need to speak to my husband. Here's the details of the account to which the money should be transferred. speak to my husband. Yes, you will. Thank you. Mm, he can hear you. Hello, honey. I just transferred the sum of 10 million naira to this man. Sweetheart, I hope you're okay. No, honey. Listen to me. Why did you transfer the sum of 10 million naira into the account? Why? I've been talking with this woman here and she made it specifically clear that it's not about money. So why did you transfer such a huge amount? For what you just did, you are going to transfer the sum of 5 million naira into my account. Either that or you never, ever see your wife and child again. Oh, 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 please, 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 please. I'll do exactly as you have said. I'll put in an extra five million, but just don't hurt them, please. Please. Let me have the account details. What's the number? Two double one nine. Hmm. Yes, um, I just received the alert now. Yes. Now what is this? Why you've been so wicked? I'm asking you. You requested for 10 million and we gave it to you. Now, why would you then collect another money from my husband? Why? You haven't yet seen the full meaning of wickedness, Mrs. Catherine Wilson. Who are you? What have we done to you? I need to speak to my daughter now. I'm talking to you. I need to speak to my daughter. Now, what is this? What have we done to you? Why are you torturing my family? Why? What is all this? Let me speak with my daughter. I need to speak to my daughter. Please. Please. Why? Please let my mom and dad go. 
I've been so pure with good character. Please, dear my world. Please. <laughs> Little one, your parents are safe. We don't want to hurt them. Listen. We just want to accomplish our mission. Mission? What mission? Listen, little one. You are too young to understand certain things around you. It's better you don't ask. I know it's money. My parents can give you enough money if you tell them. But holding us hostage is not the best. <laughs> like I said before, you're just a lad. And we don't understand certain things around you. Hmm? Please. <laughs> Wow, so chilled. So this is what you have been enjoying all to yourself? <laughs> mm. I know you feel like strangling me right now. Don't you? Let me warn you. If that thought crops up in your mind again, kill it. Because heaven knows that will be the end of your heartless wife and your daughter's existence. Please don't speak ill of my wife. You don't know who she is. <laughs> what is so special about your wife that you cannot bear to hear her being mentioned in a bad light? My wife is a good woman. Mm. She saves lives. Unlike you, you threaten people's lives. Shut up. Shut up. 
shut your mouth! Hello, Jeffrey. I want you to keep an eye on the little girl. Make sure nothing happens to her. You understand? Yes. Please, just let my daughter go. She's just a child. Please. Listen, you can hurt my husband and I. But please, let my daughter go. That girl is facing a serious health condition. I beg you, please. What makes you think I'll sympathize with you? Hmm? Yeah, because I'm looking at you, I can tell that you're married. And I'm sure you're a father as well. Why? I ask, why would you be mean to another person's child? No, Spit no father, woman. Else, you will awaken the devil in me. You know absolutely nothing, so stop talking. Hey! Now enough! Now let me tell you this. Should anything, I mean anything, happens to that girl, believe me, you will pay dearly for it. I've kept quiet enough. If you keep talking, your daughter will pay the price for your words. Keep talking. No, no, no. I want to speak again, I promise. Please. Yeah, uh, make sure you keep your eyes on him. Did you hear what I said? Yes. Absolutely. Of course. Of course. What are you doing? What are you doing? I am having a headache. So I came here to get some analgesic to subside it. Can I go get some water so I can drink this? No. I will get it for you. Remember not to do anything stupid. Your wife's life and that of your daughter will be hanging on a tray if you dare anything funny. Scout's honor. I promise not to.
I know you like this one. Why are you doing this? Doing what exactly? Taking care of me. I'm only acting out of order. This is not what I want. I want to see my mom and dad. I want to be with them. I watch cartoon with them. <laughs> well, you have no choice than to watch your cartoon with me. I hate you, a bad man! <laughs> well done. I know my mom and dad won't spare you for treating me this way. Wonderful. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I'm seeing you loved. I'm feeling strange in this cars. Better one, I advise you to stop crying. Because if you continue, it will affect your health. And your parents will get worried. I believe you wouldn't want your parents to get worried, adding to the stress they are passing through. You poisoned my drink? <laughs> you didn't leave me with much of a choice. So, I had to do it. It was the only chance that I had left. And the truth is, you're going to die slowly. <laughs> Yes, and I have the antidotes right here. And all I need you to do for me is tell me where my wife and daughter are being held. Nothing more. Man, you can keep the money. I don't need it. If you don't hear from me within 30 minutes, you know what to do. Kill his wife and daughter. Your husband has taken a very wrong step. He is going to be responsible for his room and your daughter's death if he dares touch his arm. Oh no, no please. I promise you, my husband would not even harm her. Believe me, he won't do anything to put my daughter and I in danger. Please, I promise, please. Please just calm down, please. please. <laughs> Zero please, please, please. Wake up, wake up, please. Wake up. Listen, 
All I did was put a sleeping pill in your drink. There's nothing poisonous about it, please. Hey, 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 please, listen, listen, listen. I need you to get up. I need to see my wife and my daughter. Please. Come, come, come on, come on. Don't, don't do this to me. Wake up. Hello? 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 What? What happened? I, I don't know. You should be asking your husband. Because if anything happens to her, I will make sure that I end the Wilson family lineage. Honey. You hear me? Hey, miss, wake up. Hello? Wake up. I guess your husband is trying to act smart. Hmm? No. Well, let me tell you something. If anything happens to her, I will make sure I kill you no. and your daughter no. in a very painful way. Please. So you better go to ask him what is done to her now. No, no, no. Call him, call him, call him. I should, I should, I should, what? I should calm down! Yes, I'm begging! Please! Hello, 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 honey. Hello. Honey, what have you done? I simply played a prank on her and gave her a sleeping pill to make her fall for the trick. Yes. Do you want them to kill our daughter? Please! Oh, come on now. I, I, I'm not that stupid. <laughs> now, listen to me, mister. If anything happens to her, if there's as much as a scratch on her body, I will kill you, your wife, and your daughter. So, be warned. Be very warned. Nothing must happen to her. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes, yes. Repeat the message yes, yes. to him. No way. Why would I do that? I only did it because of the pain that my wife and daughter are experiencing in the hands of your men. Pain? Mm -hmm. What do you know about pain? Do you know what it feels like to be without your child? Do you know? What it feels like to see your child in pain. 
Yes. I can feel it now, even if I didn't feel that before. Oh, you know nothing about pain. And I promise you, I promise to hurt you, your wife, and your daughter. My wife is a good woman. Mm. She's a lifesaver. <laughs> and I'm wondering, why is this all happening? This whole fiasco started from yesterday that she won an award and crossed over to today. And uh, I'm, I'm wondering, where did we go wrong? Where? Everything. Really? Your wife has done everything. And for your information, she is no lifesaver. Your wife is a life taker. Well, lady, I insist, I still insist, that my wife is a lifesaver, not a life taker. Hello, honey. Put the phone on loudspeaker. I know you're wondering what is going on. I know that you're wondering why we have you, your husband, and your daughter on the siege. I'll tell you. It's because of you. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Williams, uh, you have to deposit the sum of 200,000 Naira before the end of today. What? Yes, please. That's the only way we can commence treatment immediately on your son. Else, he might die. Let me let me go and arrange for the money. Honey, come on. It's all right. Told the doctor in there that you were going to get the money. From where? Maybe she, just go inside. Nadia needs you, okay? I am. Um, I'm going to go and raise the money. I'll, I'll be back shortly. Where will you get 200,000 naira from? It's fine. I'll, I'll make sure I raise the money anyhow, okay? Just go inside. Maybe. I'll be back shortly. Okay? I deposited. That's all I've been able to raise, Doctor. Uh, kindly commence treatment on our son while I go run around 
you know, you the rest. yeah, and try to raise the remaining hundred thousand. Yes. I'm sorry, Mr. Williams. You know, we don't work that way. It's not going to be possible to do what you asked me to do. I'm sorry. My son's life is hanging on your kind heart. Please don't let him die now. Please. There is something I want you to understand, Mrs. Williams. We have rules and regulations guiding this hospital. It will not be possible. You have to deposit your money complete so we can commence treatment else. My hands are tight. I'm so sorry. Madam, I know you are more than like yourself. Madam, I'm begging you. I am begging you in the name of God, please. I know you are more than like me. Yes. Don't let my child die. Please, doctor. Please. Listen, please. 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 You're just sounding like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm being mean. Come on. I'm trying to be professional here, like I said earlier. I'm abiding by the rules and regulations guiding this hospital. I'm so sorry. I can't do anything. If the money is not complete, I'm sorry. Madam, please. Please, have mercy. See, see, I have a patient in the theater right now. They are waiting for me. They are already waiting for me. They've prepared everything. It's just for the surgery to commence. Please. Doctor, Don't let my son die, please. But our son is equally patient here, right? Please. I understand. Listen. Please attend to him. Mr. Williams, if you don't mind, please, can you just go? Instead of staying here to beg, why don't you use that opportunity that, to go rally around for this money? Uh, exactly. So we can commence treatment yes. on your boy. I've deposited part of the money. I'm going to go raise the remaining now. I just want you to, you know, just start treatment. You know? Uh, well, please. Please, I need you to leave your house. I beg you in the name of everything and everyone that you put here. Please. Mrs. Williams, let me help you. Get up, please. Mama, please. Can you, can you, can you please? I'm sitting awesome. Listen. Honey, what are we going to do? What are we going to do if we end up not raising the money? It's okay, honey. Just stop crying, all right? Just calm down, okay? I'm going to do whatever it takes to save our son's life, right? I don't care. No property is more important than our son's life, so I'm going to have to go sell off some of our properties to to raise some money. Okay. okay. I'll be back. Stop. Nadi, Nadi, please stay with me. Your father has gone to get me some money. Just stay. Stay with me, my child. I love you. I love you. Yeah, honey. I'm still waiting. Yes, yes, I'm in your office. Okay, no problem. See you. Yeah, come in, come in, come in. Yeah, come in, come in. Sir. Please, have a seat. Oh, thank you. Do you want to see my wife, Dr. Kitchen? Yes, sir. I am. Um, I was here earlier with my husband, Rebecca. It's a good thing I've seen you now because I will need your help. She said that we deposit the sum of 200,000 Naira before treatment can commence on my son. And so far, my husband has been able to raise 100,000 Naira. Yes, we have begged your wife to please accept the money that we have raised so far. We promised to get the remaining later, but she, she refused. And now I want to. I want you to help me and my husband beg her to please save our son's life. Please, sir. Well, unfortunately, if my wife says that she can't help, 
then she must have good reasons. I'm really sorry I can't help you with that. Please, you are the only hope I have. You are the only hope we have to get her to change her mind. Please, help me. Help, help us. Help my son save his life. Please, please, sir. Please. Honestly, I, I wish I could do something. But like I said earlier, if my wife says she can help, then she must have good reasons. I don't make the rules around here, no. I'm, I'm not, I don't own this facility. Please. My hands are tied, really, I can't help. I'm sorry. Please, sir, please don't let my son die. Please, I'm begging you. Please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I'm sure you're a father like I am a mother, please. Save oh. my son's life, please. Please. Please, I beg you, sir. Please. Oh. Get up, get up, get up. The truth is, I really can't. I'm not a medical doctor. I don't own this facility. I don't make the rules here. But there's relatively little or nothing I can do. I'm seeing you feeling loved. I, I'm feeling strange in this cause. What are you trying to do? I'm Why are you calling my son? In this love. Lost. Losing myself <laughs> in this <laughs> cause. Nadi. Nadi. This mountain. Fountain. This time is counting. You can go, 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 go. Go, 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 go down, down. This mountain. This <laughs> fountain. Pouring. <laughs> Hold on. No! This humanity, your own is so so precious. Mine is so so. But you hold yourself down, down. You feel so Your own is so so precious. Mine is no no no. I'm asking you, is this love? I'm feeling pain in this love. I'm seeing you feeling loved. Uh, I'm feeling strange in this cause. I'm going insane in this love. Losing myself. I told you, but what did you say to me? You said that if your wife already told me there was nothing she could do about it, then indeed, there was nothing to do. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, in this life, no one knows tomorrow. God blessed us with a huge contract. He blessed my husband and I with a huge contract that changed our lives for good. Please find a place in your heart to forgive us, my wife and I. We're terribly sorry for the pain that we caused you. Deep down from our hearts, we're sorry. You took my child. You took my child away from me. And now you want yours? No way. No way. You and your husband killed my child. My only child. My wife and I begged you. We begged you. To save our only son. But what did you do? What did you do? I'm sorry. You're sorry. 
After all you did to me, I still kept your daughter safe. Because I am nothing like you. And why are you staring at me? I'm not the cartoon you should be watching. So focus on the TV. I need my parents and not cartoon. I need my parents! I need my parents! Hello. Yeah, um, I need a cup of ice cream and tomato pie. Yeah, right away for... For my beautiful friend here. <laughs> Honey, it's time. Let your guilt and Dr. Catherine's guilt judge you too.
Was to save lives first, and I chose to abide by the rules and regulations guiding the four walls of the hospital. Now, what is my game? I'm supposed to save lives. I killed, I killed this child. Now, my daughter's life. I'm feeling strange. So be it, so be it. Now, what is my game? What have I seen in this love? Losing myself in this cause. Uh, this mountain, fountain, this time is counting. You can go, 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 go down, down. This mountain, falling, this fountain, pouring. Hold on, I can hold you down, down, down. This humanity, your own is so so precious. Mine is so so, but you hold yourself down, down. You feel yourself higher. Your own is so so precious. Mine is no no no. I'm asking you, is this love? I'm feeling pain in this love. I'm seeing you feeling loved. I, I'm feeling strange in this cause. I'm going insane in this love. Losing myself in this cause. Ah, this mountain, fountain, this time is counting. You can go, 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 go down, down. This mountain falling, this fountain pouring. Hold on. <laughs> this life is completely worthless now. My child that I've been managing. A child that is not even strong. Good day, madam. We are policemen from the police headquarters. You send the commissioner an SMS to come and rescue you from harm men. Madam, oh. are you okay? Why are you crying? What's wrong? You can't talk to us. Madam, talk to us. Why are you crying? Madam, uh, you called for help that you, uh, your child and your husband, we are in danger. Come on, explain to me. What is going on? Madam, what's going on? Why are you crying? You can't talk to us. Madam, uh, talk to us. I'm a woman like you. Honey, I need you to be vigilant. You know he's a man. Don't underestimate him. All right.
What's going on? What happened? What really happened? Talk. Why are you crying? I'm fine. <sighs> Madam, why are you crying if you are okay? Were you molested? What happened? What really happened? You will not understand! <sighs> you will not understand. The life is worthless. The life is useless. Do you know what it means? Now why could they have taken her daughter too? Hmm. And the reason our daughter is gone. Honey, please. Stop crying. Huh? Please, stop doing this to yourself. It's not the end of the world. What do you mean? What do you mean it's not the end of the world? You don't get it! The husband and wife that lost their child under my care took my own daughter. Now what if she's dead? Well, you can't keep blaming yourself for what happened. None of this is your fault. Huh? I am convinced within myself that our daughter will come back to us. Oh, how sure are you? How sure are you? Have you ever thought? Okay, fine. Now, what if she didn't return? What if our daughter is dead? Mm -mm, I mean, mm -mm. have you ever thought? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No. no. <gasps> mm -mm, mm -mm. Please, calm yourself down. If you continue like this, you will crack up. <laughs> and the cost will be more than I can bear. Please, please. <laughs> we have got to keep hope alive. Okay? Please. Please. <laughs> Please, if you will hear me out, can we go back inside? Huh? You've been out here crying your eyes out. Huh? You need to stop doing this to yourself. Please. How can? How can I stop crying? <laughs> For the love of my profession, I have made lots of mistakes thinking that I've always been right. Honey, none of this is your fault. You, know, you have to stop blaming yourself. For me, 
all you were trying to do was protect your job and do what is right. Well, you can't blame yourself for any of this. What is right? You mean I've done my best? Mm -hmm. I think my best is not good enough. Oh. Of course. My best took the life of our only child. Just take a look at this house. It feels so lonely. I keep hearing the voice of our child. Oh, please, 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 please. Please, honey, stop crying. Please. please. Mm -mm. For all we know, she may still be alive. Please. You know, there's something I told you earlier. I'm a big believer in God, in faith. Rather than cry out here and give ourselves a migraine, why don't we go up and continue to pray? Honestly, I don't think she's late. I don't think so. No tears. Let's go back inside. Please. Please. Oh, my child. I need you to forgive me, please. I caused all this. Just... Just forgive me. God. Honey, you stop crying. Eh? If you continue crying like this, you'll develop a migraine. And that would be terrible. Brother, this is what I suggest. Instead of crying, why don't you pray to God and let him bring back our daughter home? Huh? Please. It's okay. It's okay. Hmm? Please. Please. Keep the phone and try and get some sleep. Huh? Please. Please. Hmm? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hmm? Calm down. You see, if you do like this, what is that? You pray. Nobody likes any of this. But what is that one do? Okay? I've eaten earlier, but I brought this food so I can make sure that you eat something. You haven't eaten in the last two days, and you'll be hurting yourself. I'm not hungry. I mean, how can I eat without knowing where my daughter is? I don't know if she's dead now. I don't know if she's alive. I don't know if, if she's hungry. I mean... I can understand where you're coming from. But look at it this way. You need to stay alive to receive our daughter when she comes back. Going on this hunger strike will not solve anything. You need to be healthy before she returns. Did anybody tell you that she's returning? I don't know about that. But I told you something earlier. I have faith in oh. God. God will bring her back. Of that, I am certain. So please, eat. Be healthy. Did you hear the doorbell? Yeah, I thought I heard it. Hold on. I need to go with you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. My angel. 
By the way, what's inside the bag? I don't know. Mr. and Mrs. William said I should give you. Money. Money. There's a rules. Life is precious. And so it should be valued no matter what. What you and your wife did to us is hurtful, but we could not take away your child because we believe that we are both created with a good heart. We also did all we did to you and your family just to make you learn from your past mistakes. Even if we hurt your daughter, it will still not bring our son back to us. The dead is dead and gone for good. In that bag is the 15 million Naira you transferred into me and my husband's account. Money cannot buy life. So I am refunding you your money. I hope that you learn a lesson from this mistake of yours. Mr. and Mrs. Wilson Joe. And to all the doctors out there who think that life is nothing, this is for you. Take very good care of your daughter and your husband. We are leaving the country and we are relocating to Canada to start a new life because we cannot bear our son's loss. Yours faithfully, Mrs. Williams Elfreda. to feel sad about. Well, well here's what I think. You, know? you see this money? We don't need it. I'm thinking we should give it out to charity. You know, I'm sure there are families that have been through something like this and the money can be useful to them. What do you think? You are filled with wisdom. See, Thank man. you. You know that's part of why I always like to have a bag. <laughs> Man, Lord of Jesus, Lord of Jesus. Be the one that is still already. You said everything that has been and Father, the Spirit will have And so we ask for everything that we thank you. Impact us more with more creativity, more inspiration, Father, so that we can be able to interpret the Spirit in your own glory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father, Thank you. because we know you've done it for you, for you, Jesus' special name. Amen. Amen. All right, let's go. Okay. 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 All right. Um, wait, wait, let's go. Let me see. 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 So, close to the 11th. Speak, I can't. I can't. 
Mr. Wilson, just play your conscience on the ground. Farrah found you. She should be here. Over. 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 So now, Judy, yes. you're here now. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. So we went from 1 to 20. 4 1 to 20. Okay. 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 Where you want to call your husband. So I, I want it this way now. Here. Okay. You can do the call this way. So I have. I'm going to take the rap focus later. Alright. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. This one should be good. She's holding this one now. This one is drinking and she's this one at the man on now. Yeah. Yeah. So she has the man's phone and he's ringing non-stop before the man is looking at his phone. He's ringing and on this no, he says his line. Okay. Oh, it's very good. I Sure. 